Hello, this is Paul Bo Brookins, and welcome back to How to Play Dwarf Fortress. We're in part 15 now. Uh, let's go ahead and get started. We're going to uh, figure out how to start our military. Uh, I'll show you how to do that. Uh, we, uh, we went into the noble screen last video, and we set our militia commander. We can also set a militia captain. Um, the military is divided up into squads of 10 dwarves at, uh, per squad and each um, squad has to have a captain assigned to it to be able to make the squad so um, and once you assign this uh, captain then another slot right below it uh, right here will open up for another captain so you can have an endless supply of captains making new uh, squads and each squad doesn't have to have a total of 10 before you start the next one so um, you can divide them up into melee and archers uh, melee and ranged or you can divide up even further into just squads of using a single type of weapon, like all axe dwarves, or all sword dwarves, or all mace dwarves, um, all in one. So they can train with each other and increase their weapon skill that much more because they're learning from each other in their weapon skill. But um, when you first start out, normally I just split them up into melee and ranged just for tactical purposes it makes it easier to place them and put the range behind the uh, the melee guys uh, you know that type of thing so um, let's bring up dwarf therapist again forgot that guy's name um, this guy Inod Inod Rastaduk let's make him a captain since he's our best person uh, who can do ranged. Okay, so now we have a militia commander and a captain. So let's exit out of the noble screen by hitting escape. And you can enter the military screen by hitting M. M is the military screen. There's several things that we'll be able to do from here. Um, if you'll notice, um, we already have uh, a militia commander and militia captain under the uh, squad slash leaders so uh, we can create a s squad that's led by the commander using C so hover or highlight it in blue and uh, hit C and then I'll come up with this menu which is asking you what type of uh, what type of military units are going to be in this squad. Um, this one's going to be our melee squad, so they're going to have metal armor, so we're going to have to select that. And you can customize that later on, but um, for now it's just better to um, for the military screen to know that they're going to want any kind of metal, um, the best metal basically that they can find. So this is what happens when you select their uniform. Um, it makes a squad with the commander in the first spot and the first spot is always reserved for the uh, captain of that squad. So this one's being led by the militia commander, Sibrek Bisoladin, that we assigned in the noble screen. And we can add other ones to it. Um, we're not going to add any more dwarfs to this screen because there's not any that are any good at uh, at military other than this guy um, and the other guy who's going to be ranged. Um, so, but you can go over to this third row here by hitting the arrow over and you can look at all the dwarfs and it has right here it'll tell you if they have any kind of skills related to military. So if you go out, down None of them have any related skills, or relevant skills, uh, to military. So these are the only guys that we can assign to be in the military right now. Even our militia captain for our other squad doesn't have any relevant skills for uh, metal 
armor melee uh, squad. So when you assign the uniform, you're basically telling the computer that these guys are going to be melee, they're going to be wearing metal armor, um, and just the relevant skills are going to be melee weapon use uh, pro predominantly. So let's go ahead and exit out of. Oh no, we're let's go ahead and set up our, our range one. So if we go down to Militia Captain, we can create the squad from this guy. Oh, and I didn't tell you, but uh, whenever you create the squad, there it randomly generates a name. So this squad's name is the Washed Cities. Never makes any sense. Uh, rarely it does, but uh, you know, randomly generated is randomly generated. So um, let's go ahead and create the squad here, and we're going to make these archers are going to be wanting to do ranged and they'll also by default wear leather armor if you want to make kind of a quicker squad that's like a rogue type squad you can do leather armor and they'll still use melee weapons but I don't ever do that there might be a benefit to it but I've never um, had the chance to figure out the benefit to leather armor and melee weapons so um, normally you'll want to pack on as much metal onto your melee dwarfs as you possibly can just uh, because layers and layers is not going to slow them down very much and they're also going to uh, be more effective in terms of defense so but this squad is going to be archers so and <laughs> their name is <laughs> their name is the oils of rubbing so that's going to be fun uh, fun squad to be in I guess <laughs> so um, so you can see that it's automatically started with this militia captain being the leader of this squad, and you can see that he does have relevant uh, relevant skills for this squad. He is a competent march swarf, um, so he's uh, he's the leader for now. Uh, once we get more dwarves, uh, there's probably going to be somebody that's better at this stuff than him but we'll probably leave him as the leader because he's going to get a jump on the training he'll be able to improve his skills and also he'll get some points in leadership eventually um, by having some people under him the only time I'll probably replace him is if we get somebody who is all who is better at marksmanship and all the relevant skills and also has points or a single point in leadership and he doesn't so um, those two factors are going to be uh, what you choose your militia captains by so um, so that's how you set it up you, we can add people to it later by going into the M screen again see if I escape out hit M you can go back and add more people you can also um, there's a couple different things you can do here. Um, you can set their default uniform, default uniforms, equipment. Um, equipment actually, if you go into E, um, it lets you configure each specific item that they wear, and you can make it general, like metal armor, or you can tell them to wear steel armor, or you can assign them an, uh, a absolutely specific piece of armor, like wear only this piece of steel breastplate um, this is the only one you're allowed to wear ever so, but um, for now just having a general thing like this is fine um, another thing to keep in mind in the military screen is if you go into a alerts you can um, this is where you set alerts for um, for burrows which we won't get into for four or five videos, but just know that that's the alerts menu is under the military screen. So now that we have some people in our military, we'll go ahead and you can hit S. S is for schedule, I think. Where is it? Um, boy, it's a good thing I know where these buttons are. All squads. <laughs> this is for squads, and it will show you uh, all the squads. Um, if you you can hit A, A or B to 
select one of the squads or you can hit a capital A and capital B to select multiple squads like uh, capital will select them multiple uh, multiple at a time uh, but we're going to select our melee squad and um, we're going to go ahead and change them from inactive here this T button uh, from inactive hit T and you can change him into active slash training so he's going to be just basically a military person full-time uh, we're gonna have him training with B with the uh, range person we're going to have that person doing other things so we might um, turn that person on and off in terms of training but for now we're just gonna leave them off but we can still uh, we can still summon that person to do military work whenever we want um, and also let me show you what if you want to uh, send the military after a certain unit or set of units um, you just highlight the squad or squads that you want and um, you hit K for attack K brings up the attack menu. Um, oh, there's nothing on the screen. Now, if there were any kind of enemies that you could kill, um, then they would show up on here. You can highlight them. You can uh, highlight multiple ones. But I'll have to show you that later because we don't have anyone to kill. I guess we killed that falcon that attacked us earlier. So, um, so it looks like we've used up a decent amount of time not even playing the game. Um, we haven't even moved from this spot. We're looking at our two dogs and our oxen, or ox, uh, hanging out on our wagon here um, the entire video. Um, so I guess we'll leave the video at this for now. In the next video, we'll actually get to those workshops that we were planning on getting to two videos ago. And we'll show you what you can make, and we'll start our production. So uh, go ahead and like the video, and subscribe if you like what I'm doing. Uh, but in the meantime, my name's Paul Bo Brookins, and we'll see you next time.